Hey everyone this video will serve as an in-depth guide on algorithmic price delivery within institutional market fluctuations. Today we're breaking down the buying and selling frameworks used by market makers within smart money concepts. Comprehending these frameworks will also give you insight into how significant price shifts occur in the market, but also help position you on the correct side of market direction. So folks if that sounds like something you're into, be sure to tap the like button to support more content like this and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Catch you after the intro and disclaimer. We all understand that supply and demand drive price levels on the chart, but there's another element influencing price behavior, algorithmic price delivery. This concept refers to programmed market movements designed to improve order execution and boost liquidity through calculated trade actions that can deceive or catch off guard retail traders. These institutional maneuvers aren't just focused on misleading retail traders, but also target rival institutions. This is due to the fact that retail traders represent a smaller share when compared to institutional entities and central banks. In the foreign exchange market, most of the trading volume generally stems from institutional players. Hence, institutions often target one another, each operates with unique strategies, capital sizes, time horizons, and other variables that differentiate their behavior. Contrary to popular belief, banks participate in trading not mainly for profit or loss, but largely to fulfill currency exchange requirements. It's important to recognize that banking institutions trade differently from retail individuals, where gains and losses are more direct and short-term. So what exactly is the market maker model within institutional price movement? To address this question, let's first break down a few concepts. You've probably heard that liquidity plays a major role in price movement, but where exactly is it found? It's not limited to areas above swing highs or beneath swing lows. In fact, liquidity is present at nearly every price level, though the type we're focused on here is specifically stop-loss liquidity. The market contains two main liquidity types, buy side and sell side. Liquidity positioned above a high or cluster of highs is considered buy side liquidity. As price nears this area, bearish traders may initiate short positions or safeguard their earlier shorts. Simultaneously, breakout traders tend to go long if the level is breached. The sharp movement targeting this liquidity is known as buy side delivery essentially, driving price higher to tap into liquidity resting above relative equal highs. Algorithmic price delivery captures this liquidity by luring traders on both ends, after which smart money typically initiates short positions. Now, let's look at how this applies in a bearish setup. Now let's use this same idea in a bearish context. Liquidity found below a low or a series of lows is considered sell-side liquidity. Similar to the bullish setup, as price nears this point, bullish traders may enter long trades or defend existing long positions. Meanwhile, breakout traders will likely go short if the level is breached. The aggressive move designed to seize this liquidity is referred to as sell-side delivery. Algorithmic price delivery captures this liquidity by baiting both sides of the market, after which smart money typically enters long positions to target the buy-side liquidity. Looking at the live chart, we're analyzing EUR, USD on the 15-minute time frame. The first thing to identify is the current trading session and hour. This large candle marks the opening of the London session, one of the highest liquidity periods for the euro dollar. Based on our prior discussion, this cluster of equal highs signals buy side liquidity. Traders who entered shorts here likely have stop loss orders positioned above these highs, so a rally beyond this level would trigger those stops and activate the buy stops, representing buy side liquidity. In contrast, this series of equal lows marks sell-side liquidity. When price nears this zone, traders may initiate short positions and place stop losses beneath the wick, so a drop below this low would trigger sell stops, which is the sell-side liquidity. Currently, the broader market bias is bullish. Although institutional price delivery influences movement, it doesn't override the larger order flow. Now, let's break this down. A sell-side delivery targets liquidity below this low, followed by a move upward to tap into the buy-side liquidity. The most refined execution would be shorting with the sell-side delivery and going long with the buy-side delivery. But this is not simple. Trading revolves around forecasting future price action, and the future remains inherently uncertain. It's impossible to anticipate every single setup, 
yet with experience, you'll start recognizing recurring market behaviors. In this case, price moved downward for two main reasons, either to trigger sell-side liquidity through stops or to fill an inefficiency. Observing the left side of the chart reveals a fair value gap. This is a narrow price section where the previous candle's high ends and the following candle immediately opens and climbs. As the next candle forms, the wicks leave a visible void. This price gap between candles is what's known as a fair value gap. When significant capital flows into the market and disrupts the equilibrium between buyers and sellers, fair value gap formations emerge between candlesticks, signaling a moment of price inefficiency. When such zones appear on the chart, price tends to rally toward these predefined levels as the market needs to revisit that zone to correct the inefficiency present there. So if we rewind to the moment before this movement occurred, what can we observe? There's a buy side imbalance indicating that buyers significantly overpowered sellers, and there's a sell side inefficiency suggesting that price needs to revisit this inefficient zone to restore balance. Additionally, we see this cluster of equal lows, which holds a significant amount of sell side liquidity. In essence, a sell side delivery took place, targeting sell side liquidity, stop losses, and sell stops beneath that level, rejecting the FVG zone. After that, a buy side delivery followed aiming at buy-side liquidity, specifically the buy stops positioned above those equal highs. This serves as a foundational explanation of how market algorithms generate price fluctuations, not purely due to buy and sell pressure. The next key idea to understand is that price often moves away from levels where liquidity has just been swept, whereas it tends to move toward zones that still contain liquidity. Picture this line chart as a representation of market behavior. When sentiment leans bullish, the sell-side liquidity areas take on greater significance than the buy-side zones. That's because a sweep below these lows often signals a potential bullish continuation and a favorable long opportunity that aligns with the prevailing trend. However, if we observe a setup like this on the chart accompanied by a confirmed change in character, this liquidity area turns into a probable target. Once again, price tends to be drawn towards zones rich in liquidity, increasing the likelihood of continued upward momentum. If a liquidity sweep occurs at this zone and price fails to break below it or sustain trading beneath it, then our focus shifts to the buy side liquidity targets. We can enter through multiple order blocks as long as price continues trending higher. At this point, you should have a foundational grasp of how algorithmic price delivery creates movement in the market directed at liquidity areas. As mentioned earlier, once liquidity sweep patterns form, the market typically shifts direction toward the opposing liquidity zones. Let me now walk you through how a legitimate liquidity sweep pattern and subsequent reversal play out on the chart. Visualize that the liquidity resides just beneath the lowest point of this wick. In a valid liquidity sweep setup, what we're looking for is a wick that briefly breaks through this level and then swiftly closes back above the range. Alternatively, we might see a single candlestick close beneath this line, followed by the next candle immediately closing back within the previous range. This signals a potential short-term reversal, at least towards the nearby supply zone ahead of the price. If the price successfully breaks and closes above that supply area, we then get a change of character, confirming that the downward trend has ended and a legitimate reversal is underway. By merging the concept of change of character with the liquidity sweep formation, we can gain clearer insight into upcoming price moves. Now, let me take you through some actual chart examples to illustrate how we evaluate price action when identifying trade opportunities. We're looking at the EUR USD pair on the 15 minute time frame. The chart shows price action during the Asian session, and we're now entering the London session, typically a prime time to spot trade setups. The prevailing market sentiment is bearish, suggesting a higher likelihood of continued downward movement. Based on the market maker model and earlier concepts explained in this video, two possible outcomes can unfold. In the first scenario, price may reach up to collect the buy side liquidity formed during the Asian session before moving lower toward a sell side liquidity zone. Alternatively, if a reversal is on the horizon, the market might first dip below these lows to trigger the sell side liquidity and then rally upward, aiming for the buy side liquidity. Now, let's break down what's happening we observe two distinct liquidity sweep setups. First, the market dipped below a set of equal lows to trigger sell-side liquidity. Then, it spiked above equal highs to engage buy-side liquidity. Following this, price made an aggressive drop that aligned with the prevailing bearish trend and formed a fair value gap. 
Currently, there's a visible buy side inefficiency, and all signs point to a continuation to the downside. So, if price retraces, it may offer shorting opportunities using various entry techniques according to your trading strategy. We're analyzing gold on the one hour chart. First, let's identify the key liquidity zones. At the top, the triple top structure indicates a significant amount of buy side liquidity. On the flip side, the equal lows at the bottom signal are sell side liquidity area. Additionally, there's a visible fair value gap in the middle. This shows a buy side imbalance and a sell side inefficiency, suggesting that price may return to fill this gap to rebalance the order flow. At this point, the directional bias isn't clearly defined, so we wait to see how price reacts. Soon after, a strong bearish candle breaks below the equal lows but quickly reverses and closes back inside the range. This move forms a valid liquidity sweep pattern under the market maker model. Since price has already tapped into sell side liquidity, we now expect it to target the buy side liquidity sitting above the recent highs. Let's switch to the 15 minute chart to zoom in and identify potential long setups. Here on the 15 minute chart, we're looking at the same liquidity sweep pattern, and this zone above marks our buy side liquidity target. But before jumping into any trade, we need a change of character, Cho CH, to confirm a short term trend reversal. That happens when price breaks and closes above this structure level. Only then we look for long opportunities. Now for the trading setup, check mark first. We need a move that breaks structure and leaves behind a fair value gap, FVG. Check mark wait for price to return to that FVG zone. Check mark enter your long trade there and place your stop just below the gap area. Here's the real talk live trading isn't a straight line up. You'll experience wins and losses. The key to coming out on top discipline, stick to your rules, don't let emotions take over, and keep refining your edge. Your trading plan is your shield. It protects you from the chaos of the market. Long term success comes from staying consistent, not chasing every candle. That wraps up this breakdown. If this video added value, smash the like button to support the channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode. Catch you in the next one.